Aha, welcome back to the channel everyone. Today we're gonna to be filming a vegan van life, a typical day in the life. But first, let's just have a quick look at that view. So before we get started in our day in the life, I just thought I'd give you a quick um, tour of the van for those of you who haven't seen it. So just as we're coming through the door, we've got our workstation where we do all of our YouTube editing, etc. Also turns into a breakfast bar. We've also got Goji's on tour. And if I just swing round, um, we've got our double bed which pulls out and um, we've obviously got fridge and cooker and various other utensils that we'll go through in a second. And then just here, we've got the shower room. So it's breakfast time and as it's really warm outside, we're gonna do some simple muesli. Um, in that, we're gonna throw some strawberries, some cherries, some flax seed, um, some cacao, and we've also got some melons and other bits and pieces for breakfast. So I've just had my breakfast, Emma's having hers now under the awning. So let me just show you around the rest of the van. So two very common questions that we get when we're traveling is what we do for water and also what we do for internet. So in terms of water, we take our AcroTrue um, water filter with us everywhere you go. So you basically top this um, back chamber up and then it goes through a reverse osmosis filter and then it spits out clean water here. Um, in terms of internet, we had um, internet built into the van, so wherever we go we've got decent 4G connection which enables us to do all of that YouTube editing that we need to do on the move and I can also do consults uh, and keep in contact with everyone that way. So I forgot to say just a minute ago, um, we're actually in Corsica at the moment, um, so we spent 10 days in Saint-Tropez in the south of France and then we've come over to Corsica for a couple of weeks before we move on to Italy, um, Croatia and then we're going to zigzag up throughout Europe. So it's a little after 9am, um, typically around this time each day we have some fun down the beach, um, so we take uh, all of our goodies. Have you got everything? Not quite. So we take Lilo, boogie board, drone and we just have some fun in the sand and down the beach. Come on, you're holding me up. So welcome to Corsica, this is a typical Corsican beach. Have a look at the view. And on that bombshell, I'm gonna go for a quick snorkel and see if I can find any little fishies. So just been for a nice swim this afternoon. Uh, we're gonna go get some lunch in a minute um, and then we'll show you around the campsite. Um, what do you think of van living so far? I'm enjoying it, yeah. It's really good. It's really freeing actually. Just been able to get up and go and park your van in 
experience of you know different parts of the world so yeah yeah it's absolutely it's something that i would recommend everyone do at some point if you get the opportunity um, and what's the saying what's the saying we always forget oh. don't get so busy making a living that you, you forget to make, to make a, life. a life yeah yeah that's the one exactly <laughs> So just got back from the beach, I'm going to rustle us up some grub in a second. Um, this isn't a, a full what we in a day video, we'll do a separate one of those and let us know in the comments below if you want us to do a full day of eating van lifestyle. Um, but we're going to eat some grub in a second, do some chores um, and then we'll show you around the rest of the campsite. Happy life is a fed wife. Bon appetit. Wow, thank you. So we're just going to sit and enjoy dinner now and admire the views. So with lunch out of the way, we've got some chores to do now, which Emma is carrying. Um, and that will also give us an opportunity to show you around the campsite. So just while the washing is doing, we just thought it'd be a good idea to talk about the costs of van life. So we're gonna be away for probably um, about three months in this stint, aren't we? So yeah. um, we've allowed for around a sort of 2,000 pounds per month budget. Yeah, I'd say so, yeah. Um, that's on the high side. So if you're camping um, wildly, then you can bring those costs down dramatically. But just to give you an idea, the cost of this campsite um, for around two weeks is about £500, which includes electric hookup and everything like that. So it's quite reasonable considering... Is that me? Or is that you? It's no, not me. It's not me. Um, which is quite reasonable considering that, you know, in the UK, if you go to Cornwall or on the south coast, that, you know, you would pay four or five hundred pounds for maybe four or five days or so. Not even you? that. I think we paid that for three nights in a caravan somewhere. Yeah. And that was budget as well. Um, yeah. So, yeah, two weeks in this place with electric and to be right on the beach. Um, it's it's not bad at all is it no and i've seen i've seen other youtubers that have done it you know by wild camping that have done it a lot cheaper so um and also it depends what your what what your preference is as well like what kind of places you like to stay in and you want to be on whether you want to be by a beach or in the woods or you know yeah i i have seen some um sort of youtubers do it for as little little as um 800 pounds a month um, all inclusive so it can be done very cheaply um, and you it's like anything you can do it as expensive I think as well Europe's really set up for for camping um, it's got even on the motorways it's got these like what they kind of like lay bys with where you can yeah they've got freshen up not not service stations but there's a different name for them they're just camping um, points where yeah. you can just stop for a while um, you can fill up your water tanks um, and um, just refresh there so they've got when we were driving down through france they had those intermittently you know throughout france didn't yeah. they so um yeah i think there are a lot more designed europe to um to accommodate kind of van life and camping and things like that i've seen it as well where people where in europe there's actual car parks with um places where you can deposit you know the toilets and things like that so and get fresh water and um, whereas in the uk um you wouldn't it's not that commonplace is it really no unless you're actually going specifically for camping yeah on a campsite i think we will do um a video at some point breaking down all the costs when we get back home about what it costs for us to do kind of three months van life around europe um but that should give you a, a rough idea of the costs um for a place like this to stay for two weeks it's around 500 pounds or so obviously you've got ferry costs to come over as well but it's it i think it's very reasonable compared to um sort of tra traditional holidays so i think that's quite reasonable um and hopefully that gives you an idea um, of you know typical costs so if you've got any additional questions then let us know in the comments below i'm just going to say as well this is something that we've really wanted to do for a long time isn't it yeah so it's not something we've kind of 
Yeah, and it's, it's something we've been we've been saving for for a while. Obviously, because of my um, my illness, um, you know, we didn't go on holiday for pretty much five or six years, and we've yeah. never had a long-term holiday together before. So, this is something we planned. Um, it's something we save for, but equally, like I keep saying, it's something that you can do on the cheap, and it doesn't have to be overly expensive. Um, but I think what we were saying earlier on as well is it's really important to kind of have these experiences in life. Um, and as we were saying earlier on, don't get so caught up in um, building a career um, and a, a business or any of those kind of rat race things. Well, yeah, unless that's, you know, cause some people, you know, obviously some, some people do, like, if, you know, if you love your career, but there's people that are stuck in careers that they hate. And if that's the situation that you're in, then um, why not give it a go? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So hopefully that gives you an idea and uh, we need to go back and grab our washing. Leave her alone for two minutes. <laughs> and look what she finds. A little treat. <laughs> what is it? It's uh, the vegan um, almond magnums. I thought I'd try it. Any good? Like. Yeah, it's good. So just got back from doing the washing and Emma's pegging out the, the washing now on the washing line to dry everything as you can see. I'm fast running out of time today so I think I'm going to draw the vlog to a close there. Um, if you want us to do any specific van life um, videos in terms of food or costs or anything like that then let us know in the comments below. Um, I've got an evening of consults ahead of me um, which I'm looking forward to um, but other than that I hope you've all enjoyed um, today's video. Um, and as always, remember to look after your body because it's the only place you have to live. And I'll see you next time.